Welcome friends. Today we are going to create a cliff effect with our text. The first thing you need to do is make your text in perspective, which here are some written instructions for those if you need to pause and read those. And there is a link to a video how to make that. And that is the first step that you need to do. So if you don't know how to do that, please read through these steps or either click and watch the video before you proceed. Now that we've completed our text, what we want to do is go here and pick a background color, whatever color you like. I like these blue, so let's do a blue. The second thing we're going to need is we're going to go into elements. We're going to come over here and we're going to get a square and we're going to make it the same color as our background. So what we want to do now is we want to take that square and we want to line it up with the end of our word, whatever part we want to hang over. And we want to cover that hanging over part up. So we want to get it on the right angle that we want. We want to move it up some and move it over. You just want enough so you can cover up the ends. So now that we have that covered, the next thing we want to do, I've tried it using squares, but I find that it's a little bit easier if I use lines. So back in the elements, which I just clicked out of, I'm going to go into elements. I'm going to get a line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to the color of here. So if you don't have that color show up in your colors here, I would usually use a little, if it shows a hair bit darker color, I would go with the darker colors versus the light ones for your hangover, just because you want a little, you want to add to your shading, you know, to put a little perspective to it. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you cut it down to the length of your hang you want. So you don't want them hanging all the way down. Maybe you do. And then what you do then is what you want to do is go up here to your three bars right here. And then you want to thicken the line weight. So we're going to thicken it up a little bit. And then we're going to carry it over here to our H's. And then we're going to keep thickening it up till it reach till it's the thickness of the bottom of our letter. And then what you want to do here is I would use my arrow keys for fine tuning this because it's just going to be easier for you. So use your arrow keys and go and get it aligned. So you want the line catty cornered. You want your square, your line catty cornered with the angle of the end tips of these. So once you have one done, you're just going to duplicate that because that's going to give you your size and the bottoms of your letter should be the same size all the way across. So you're just going to go use your arrow keys after that and line all this up. I'm going to line all these up and I'll be right back. Now that we have our word completed, we are going to want to get a black gradient rectangle. So we're going to get one of these and what we're going to do is build our shelf or table or whatever you want to call it. And what you want to do is line it up with your bend here. And you want to go, we're going to have to take the page down so we can spread this all the way across. So you want it to go all the way across. And then what you want to do is you want to take the transparency down just enough. It doesn't have to be major. It depends how dark you want it. That's completely up to you. Then what you want to do is you want to duplicate that and then put it right at the end of your text. So where your edge of your lip is. And then you want to take the trans transparency back up to 100. And that will give you your lip of your table. So then... We can go and make this big, bigger and then we can push this over, get this out of the way. And then we can kind of line this up a little bit and let's see if our keys and there we go. And that gives you your hang right there. And there's your cliff. If you want to a little bit and add just maybe a line or something in there across 
you don't want it that color. We want to kind of do like maybe a black line. And then what you can do also is take that line and put it over the top here. Line that up here and just go to the top here. Line that up here. Go down here and line that up here. And then it'll give you just a little bit. And then we'll fade that out thumb. And that'll just give you a little bit like a little bit of a texture to make it look like a little bit more of an edge. And that's how you do that. The other kind you want to do, let's see here. Let's add this page down here and let's go. Let's go into photos. Let's see what I got up here recently used. Let's go, 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 go. It should be somewhere close to the top. Um, let's see. Do something cool. Um, well, I don't see the one that I like. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, we'll just use something random then. Um, let's use this. Okay, so we'll set this as the background. Um, line the page. Why did you, where's we set the background? There we go. And then what we want to do here is take this and make our tabletop out of it. So you're going to want to do the same thing that you did before. You're going to take two of these and we'll duplicate the second one and put it down here. And then you're going to take this one and we're going to make it lighter. And that gives you your shelf. And if you want to completely get make it shelf and this just be the top, what you want to do there is you want to go up here and go in and get you a square. You want to go up here, get your background picker, or if your colors are already up here, get that. And then what you want to do is put this there. Pull this all the way across here. And then you take the position and you want to move this here. And that'll give you more of an illusion. Oh, hold on. We want to move that up. Hold on. Let's skip that. That position. And move that upward to here. And, and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We want this one here. We want to darken that up some. Darken that up to make it look like a shelf. And then we want to make sure that our square is all the way through to the bottom. And now that looks like that's just part of the tabletop. So the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to... I'm going to show you how to do the, let's see, the, the paper one. It looks a little different. Um, projects, let's go into my projects. Uh, so I need to, I need an angled one, which I did do the perspective on that. And then the second one you will need for that, that one should be in my uploads. Um, is going to be the straight version. So you want the normal version of what it looks like. So you want a regular one of that. So what I did with that is I took that, put it on here, and let's make this smaller so we can see it better. Okay. Ooh, Canva. Ooh, ooh. What is wrong with my Canva here? For? Oh, probably because that's so big. Um, Let's go in position and make this Go all the way down. Oh, and we're getting flippy. I'm sorry about y'all's eyeballs. And take that all the way down like so. And then because this is flippy, I'm going to go real quick. So what you want to do here is make sure that is lined up like so. Oh, come on. Give me my swirly. It's being mean. And then you want to just take that up like that. You want to take your angled one. Um, I did the edit image to give it a little pop to it. Um, I'm still using the old editor because it's got more options when it comes to that. So I put a curl on it, a curved. I like curved. I like the way the shadows are. I like to use that a lot, honestly. And then I took this one, turned it sideways like so. And then I try to find where I need to match that up. 
um, curve that one, apply, and then I match them together as close as possible. Let's see if my arrow keys are going to help me out here for a minute. Come on. A lot of jumping around. And I line them up. It doesn't line up as perfect, but it's a bend over table. I would, if I was kind of like making a towel or something like that, where it kind of wouldn't be as bad, but, and that's how I kind of did that effect. And so that is my cliff making for the day. I appreciate y'all stopping by. Please like, please subscribe if you would kindly do so. Um, I'm thankful you made it to the end of the video. And I'm sending you much love and thanks from Michelle. Goodbye.